Hello friends. For today's myth, we are going to be talking about one of the great disasters in Chinese myth. This being the tale of the many suns. As is common with mythology, there are many variations of this tale. Some describe the suns as the children of particular deities. Some describe them as a variety of birds. I have seen variations that have both uh, the suns being three three-legged ravens or three-legged crows. I have seen them being referred to as great birds of fire. So this is just one possible telling of this tale, not the definitive telling of this tale. As if you talk to pretty much any ethnic group in China, they will give you a different version of this. But there are a handful of details that are consistent. First, is that there was more than one sun. Usually it is an odd number, but not necessarily, because I've also seen ones with 10 and 12, and that there was some event that caused them all to descend upon the earth at once, necessitating a hero destroying the surplus suns. So I'm gonna share one version of this tale. Long ago, before the first emperors walked the land, the earth had seven suns. And within each sun was a three-legged crow with radiant plumage, wreathed in fire and smoke. As birds are wont to do, they would fly about the sky seeking food it just so happened that one fateful day, all seven descended at once, burning the earth, destroying the forests and the fields. Humanity cried aloud, what shall we do? The suns are destroying the earth. Three-legged crows have descended upon us in mass. As is true of most calamities, there rose a hero, a mighty archer, a hunter, by the name of Yi. Hearing the cries of his brethren, Yi lifted his bow and swiftly shot six of the seven crows, extinguishing the light of all but one, for Yi was wise and knew without any light nothing could grow. By thinning the numbers, it was possible that humanity could once again sow seeds in their fields dig the ditches and irrigation to replenish them. To this day, it is why we have just a single sun in the sky. As I said, there are many variations of this tale, and it's a relatively short one because it's normally part of a larger story, a larger discourse, where this is an explanation as to where Yi as a hero came from. Often, this tale is placed somewhere, at least according to the, the textbooks I have read, uh, in the time of the sage ruler Yao. And again, many variations of this. It's interesting how so many of our civilizations across the planet have this myth of there was too much light, there was too much fire, too much burning, and we needed someone to limit the amount of light, limit the number of suns to restore the cosmos to balance. I hope you enjoyed this short myth. If you did, leave a like, leave comments if you've got any, any requests for a particular myth, let me know. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.